Hello everyone, Christina here. In this video, I'm going to be using the Fresh Daisies Embossing Folder from Simus Has Stamp. It was included in the latest card kit, the October 2022. I'm gonna be doing some really fun embossing on this uh, card today. And this is a very, very simple card. It's so simple. I think I did this entire card in 10 to 15 minutes. It was so fast. So I'm using some soft navy cardstock from Simon. I've lightly sprayed it with some water on both sides of the cardstock, and then I'm running it through my die cutting machine. Now this embossing folder is stunning, so beautiful. It just doesn't even do it justice on camera. I'm gonna use a heat tool to uh, dry this cardstock a little bit more. You could definitely just let it dry, um, air dry, but I wanted to move right along. Like I said, this card comes together really quick. So something you can do to really emphasize the texture and embossing on your cardstock is to take a pigment ink or any other ink and very lightly blend on top. So I'm using some white pigment ink from Simon, a very, very, very small amount. I got some ink on my brush and then I don't think I even went back to the ink pad at all. I think I just kept it really, really light and I'm having, I have very light pressure on the brush and it's just adding a little bit of color to those raised areas. A lighter hand is better for this than a heavy hand and it just really emphasizes those areas. Now, initially when I was doing this, I thought, oh, yikes, there's too much white. But what's interesting is when you use a pigment ink like this, when it dries back, it does uh, lose some of its bright white look. You'll notice that in the finished photos on this card that it's not quite as bright white as it shows here on camera. And that's because as it dries back, it just, it almost seems like it, seeps into the cardstock just a tiny bit and it doesn't stay sitting on the surface. So I'm adhering my embossed panel to my card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And um, my card wasn't the exact same size as my panel. I think my panel just shrunk just a tiny bit when it went through my embossing machine. So I did use a craft knife to clean up any of the white hanging out. I used a powder tool just to prep the area where I'm going to be embossing and adding my greeting. Then I tested it to make sure that it would be okay and we're good to go. So I've moved my card into my Misty and I'm stamping my greeting in some Versamarking. I love how that greeting just nestles right in there. I'm gonna be using some gold embossing powder. This is Gilded Embossing Powder from Brutus Monroe. I'll sprinkle that on and tap off the excess. And then I'll hit this with my heat tool. And I'm just going to heat this until I see the color change and the powder has melted. Comes together really quick. Now to add an accent around the edge of the card, I'm going to use the Distress Embossing Dauber. And I have been sleeping on this product. I don't know why I haven't used it until now because I love doing this technique. And usually I would use my Versamark ink pad the same ink I used for my greeting. But this is actually a little bit easier and I can just dab on that embossing ink around the outer edges. And coincidentally, have any of you noticed that this embossing ink smells like peppermint? I think it's peppermint. It makes me think of Christmas. But anyway, that's just a random note here. I'm dipping the edges of my card into my embossing powder. This is the same embossing powder I used for the greeting. And after I've dipped in all four sides, I'm gonna hit this with my heat tool and just until all of the powder melts. And it actually melts even faster on the edge of the cardstock versus in the center of the card, like for a greeting or an image. So uh, if you're doing this on your card, just watch it closely, make sure you don't overheat it too much. So here's the finished card. It came together so quickly and I love it. It's completely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with how beautiful it is. Um, I think I'm going to have to break out even more embossing folders because I just want to emboss everything now. Thanks for joining me today for this really quick video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out that card kit if you want to pick up this embossing folder um, or any uh, anything else. The greeting I used on the card today, I forgot to say, is from the stamp set that's in the card kit. So there you go. That's another reason to get the card kit. Thanks for watching.